Welcome back little monkey fans, it's Carrie here and today we're going way up to the treetop toy box for a Playmobil City Life review. We have 10 amazing sets for you. They're all a little bit random but they are from the City Life collection. First we have two special plus. We have item 4764 which is two children with some toys. Item 4792 which is a Playmobil model with a clothing rack. Look at the beautiful dress she has. Then we have item 5639, which is a play box flower shop. Item 6662, which is a fantastic dentist office. And then we have this box here, item 6220, which is a store with awning shop. Then we have a bunch of package direct service sets as well as a great big box with five other sets. We have item 6294, which is a city hall with interior. Item 6306, which is an advertising pillar. Item 6438, which is a children's birthday party. Item 6447, which is a pregnant woman and mother with baby set. And finally, we have item 6459, which is a formal wedding. Well, let's get opening. First, let's start with our pregnant mother and mother with baby set. This direct service set is so cool because it comes with almost identical moms. So they have the same outfits on, the same hair, everything. The only difference is you can see one has a bit of a pregnant tummy. So you could play with this mummy here and pretend that she's expecting a baby. And then once she delivers, you can use this one with the baby and all of the accessories. So the set came with this fantastic stroller around back. And this blanket will pop right off to reveal our little baby. And here it is. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be a little girl or a little boy, but I think you could pretend either. And it just comes with a diaper. The stroller comes with the lift up cover. It has fantastic rolling wheels on the bottom and then a handle up front for the mummy to push. And then we have two other types of baby carriers. So this one here could slide up over our mum's neck. And then this one that could almost be used like a little car seat carrier. And so the mummy could hold the handle and that can bend down so you can fit your baby in a little bit easier. So there's how baby fits in that one and then that one. And so that carrier just slips up over our mummy's neck and she can carry her beautiful baby around. That is super cute. And the last bit of accessories that we have is like a diaper bag. So we have a whole bunch of baby accessories inside. Looks like we have a jar of food, two itty bitty spoons, a baby bottle and a teddy, and then two itty bitty baby accessories. Looks like a little rattle and then maybe a baby teether. And the baby can actually hold these two accessories. They are so tiny. And there's our mummies with baby set. And here's our two children with toy set. So it comes with two characters. First we have a little girl on a skateboard. So she'll slide right off and she's able to stand on the skateboard because of this piece in the center which allows her legs to slide in. And it looks maybe like a little bit like a cheetah or a cat or something on it. And so it rolls around very, very nicely. And here's our little girl. She has dark hair pulled back into a ponytail with a little accessory on there. And I love her shirt. It looks like maybe some Venus fly traps on there. That's so cute. Next we have our little boy. He comes in this saucer. We can snap him right out. And again, it has this little insert part which allows your character to stand in there. And so this is kind of curved on the bottom so it can wibble wobble around. And here's our little boy. He has on some sandals on the bottom and a cool truck on his t-shirt. And last we have this super cool scooter. It's quite different from other scooters that we had where it has smaller wheels and a bigger plank part. So we've got these really big rubber wheels on the front and back and it's two colors. And then you have a flat base for your character to stand. It's pretty cool. Let's see how our little boy fits on it. And there's our children with toy set. And here's our second special plus package, which is our Playmobil model with clothing rack. And so here's our model. She's beautiful. She's carrying a white clutch purse accessory and that can just pop right out of her hand. She's got dark hair that's tied around back and she has this beautiful deep, deep purple skirt on. That's a snap off and she has matching shoes on the bottom. And then we have our clothing cart. It's got rolling wheels on the bottom. And then we have a spot for clothing to hang. And then also a bit of an overhang here for accessories like our purse. So it's got a long strap and I really like the flower detail on the front. 
So we can snap our dress off and the dress is beautiful. Look at all of the multicolored details on it. And it comes with this clothing hanger piece. And so since this is a snap off dress, we can undo it to put on our character. So let's change her into this beautiful white dress. And here she is, she looks beautiful. And I love how the details match her deep purple shoes as well. And there's our model with clothing rack set. And here's our formal wedding set. It is so cool. We have so many great accessories. Up front, the set came with two different types of doves or birds, I believe. So we have one that looks like the wings are closed and our other one that has its wings apart. We have a camera accessory, and then we have this amazing three-tiered wedding cake. It looks beautiful. It comes on this great tray that can be carried by two characters on each side here, and the cake itself will just pop right off. That's fantastic. And then we have our wedding party. First, we have our super sweet flower girl. She has on a beautiful gown. I love the gold and white pattern on the top. And then she's carrying this little basket. So she could be like the flower girl who's spreading flowers down the aisle before the bride arrives. And that will just snap right into her hand. Then we have our ring bearer. He has a super stylish hairdo on top and then he has a formal vest and bow tie. And then he's carrying this super cute pillow that looks like it has two rings on it. And our groom is looking very formal. He has on a big top hat and it matches his vest underneath and he has on this fantastic tuxedo. If you wanted to make this less formal, you could actually slide off this top part here and it would just look like he's wearing a suit. But this adds some great detail with a flower for his wedding day. And if we pop off his top hat, you can see he's a ginger underneath. And last we have our beautiful bride. So she's carrying her fantastic bouquet of flowers and that will just pop right out of her hand. So she has yellow and white flowers. She has on this beautiful headdress. I'm surprised that it didn't actually come with a veil piece to attach to that but she does have that headdress to wear and it matches her beautiful white and purple gown. I love all of the flowering detail. She has super long hair around back and a blue bow. And if we snap off her wedding skirt, she still has a beautiful white outfit on below. So if you didn't want to have quite as a poofy dress, she could wear this instead because all of it is a little bit pearl-like. So it has a bit of shimmer to it. It's so pretty. And there's our formal wedding set. And here's our children's birthday party set. It is so cool. So we have a bunch of greenery around the sides here with some flowers. And I love this flowered archway in the back. It looks so pretty. And then we have almost like a patio type base. And so around back, if we spin this around, you can see we have a bit of fencing and pillar detail here, as well as on this side. And here's a heart-shaped balloon that fits into one of our back pillars for decoration. Also around back, we have this fantastic plastic archway and we have these flower-shaped decorations as well as some flags to really make it look festive. So up front, we have a couple of small white stools. It looks like a big birthday chair for our special child whose birthday party it is. So they get the special chair for the day. And then we have our fantastic table with accessories. So on our table, we have a cutting knife for our cake. We have three plates, our yummy pink birthday cake, and this candle decoration. So it looks like it's sitting in a bunch of hearts. And we can't forget the birthday presents. So around back, we have an extra shelf here. And on top of it, we have a great big birthday package. So if we pop that open, inside is a super cute teddy bear. What a fantastic gift to receive. And then we have two sacks. So inside this one is a paper airplane. And inside this one are two super cool rings. We have a kitty and a tiger ring. And it looks like these can fit on your hand. My hands are a little bit too big, but they'd fit Madison's for sure. Those are so cool. And there's our children's birthday party set. And here's our Playbox Flower Shop. I love this set. It has so many fantastic accessories. So it came with two figures. First, it looks like we have our flower shop worker. So she comes with a watering can and it looks like some flower snipper accessories. And she has this great vest on and I absolutely love the pattern on her shirt underneath. 
And then we also have a customer. It looks like she's ready to buy this beautiful bouquet of flowers. And so that can snap right out of her hand. And look at the fantastic detail on her shirt, all those different flowers. I love that. The set also came with another bunch of flowers and that's just resting in this basket for storage. And then on this side, we have some window sticker detail and a flower box. And we have more flower boxes on our other side. We have another bouquet of flowers with a spare vase. We have this beautiful pink vase with a bouquet of flowers inside. So we have these other containers to hold kind of single stemmed flowers. And so we can pop any one of these out. We've got a bunch like this what looks like maybe some tulips. And then we even have some roses and another purple vase inside. And inside our shop, this whole countertop will slide on out and we have our fantastic computer on top and some extra storage around back. And then you can see that we have a couple other signs here that would be showing maybe the price and types of flowers that we have. We have one on each side. And then I love how we have the sticker in the back, which looks like our front entrance and another beautiful window. These two side panels can actually close up so you can contain all of your accessories into our play box. The only thing is that these accessories and flower containers need to pop off in order to close the doors. And then we can close on up our shop. How cool is that? And there's our play box flower shop. And here's our Dentist with Patients set. It has some super cool accessories. Let's check out our characters first. So of course we have our dentist. He has on a fantastic white lab coat almost. It looks like he has a blue sweater underneath. That's pretty cool. Next, we have our boy patient. So he has on his protective front bib here that dentists will put on to protect your clothing. So that'll snap right off and you can see our boy's cool outfit underneath. The set came with two different sizes for our protective bib. And so we have a child size and an adult size. So you could have an adult who came in to get their teeth cleaned or fixed up as well. The set came with this cool chair. It has a round bottom. It's probably for a dentist to sit in while he's working on his patients. And then we have our fantastic dentist chair and all of the cool accessories. So the seat itself moves in a whole bunch of different positions. So the dentist could recline its patients all the way back or have it sitting a little bit more upright. That's cool. Then we have a whole bunch of our power tools here. So we've got a little drill there. I think this is our suction. So this is to suck up all of the different saliva and water and stuff that collects in our mouth when we're at the dentist. And this looks like our water sprayer. So this would be when they need to rinse out your mouth a little bit. So all of those snap into the space here. And then it looks like we have a bunch of different controls on the top part. That's kind of cool. And above our chair, we have our rotating light. So this can move around so the dentist can position it to shine right in its patient's mouth. If we spin around to the other side, we even have a little spit sink. So when your mouth is too full of things, they can have you spit into the spot to get rid of it. It looks like some type of solution here. Maybe that's a little bit of mouthwash. And then we have all of our other accessories and tool storage in this swivel case here. Have another type of container holding some product. And then we have our dentist tools. So it looks like we have a needle and some type of pliers that they could be using. Then we have a knife and some scissors. And then on our tray itself, you can see that it's saying that we don't wanna have lots of candies and stuff cause that's not gonna be very good for your teeth. And we have this little tooth here with almost like a police cap on it. That's kind of cute. And then a very happy tooth when we're eating lots of healthy food, lots of veggies and fruit maybe, because our dentist wants us to keep our teeth nice and healthy. And there's our dentist with patient set. And here's our direct service store with awning set. So this is just a base structure that you can buy and there's a whole bunch of different types of add-on accessory sets that you could get to accessorize inside these shops. And so we have our dentist office that we will show you accessorized inside of this next. But let's check out our base structure to begin with. We have a potted flower around front and of course we have our fantastic awning. And I absolutely love our street lamp here. So in our front we have a glass panel we have almost like a bay display window, and then we have our front entrance to get into our store, and that can open inwards or outwards. You can see we have a couple of front steps leading up to our front entrance, and if we spin it around, you can see we have open around the side and completely open around back, so there's lots of space to get your hands in there and play. And in the instructions, it actually suggested that we move this one glass panel to one of the side parts, but we decided to keep our storefront enclosed and keep it open around our sides and our back. 
And here's our dentist office accessorized inside of our empty store. And so we could choose to accessorize this a little bit further. We could have some waiting room chairs here. We could have a front check-in desk if we wanted, or we could leave it with just a set inside. And there's our dentist office set up inside our store with awning set. And here's our final two sets. We have our city hall with interior and we have our old style advertising pillar. So if we take a look at our pillar, it's got some cool gold detail on the top and then it's basically just a spot where all the different advertisers along the main street could actually put posters to advertise their products. And so it looks a little bit old fashioned, pretty cool. And then we have our city hall. Let's check out the exterior first. So starting on the top, you see that we have some windows and those will open inwards or outwards. And then we have this upper spot here with just open windows. And then if we turn it to the side a little bit, you can see we have an alarm, a satellite dish, and maybe a communications type tower. And if we turn it around to the other side, you can see we have another window that'll open and close as well as our security system. And then you can see the base where our elevator will slide up to. On the main floor of our exterior, we have our front doors here with a couple of steps up. We have this cool mailbox and that'll snap down so we can check out to see if we have any mail delivered. And then we have this fantastic old style street light. Around the right side of our front doors, we have a bunch of different windows here and all of those will pop on open. We have our lovely flower box and some greenery up the building, which is super cool. And then around the left side of our front door, we have the base of our elevator. So these doors will slide on open so your character could step in and they can ride up to the top floor. I love that feature. And the last cool thing that we have on the front are our security lights. And so these can move around to shine onto any area. They don't actually turn on, but it's a cool feature. So you can make it seem like you're keeping the city hall all lit up at nighttime. Well, let's head on in our front doors to check out the inside. So here's the back side of our city hall. It's pretty bare, but it does have a good deal of space. So coming in through our front doors here, there's this wide open space. You could set up a main reception area. And then we have a washroom around our lower side here. And that is the only inside accessories that we have is that toilet set. So we have a toilet and sink, pretty basic. The lid will lift up and it's on this entire structure that can slide around. And you may notice that we don't actually have access to our elevator from inside. We would have to come around these side steps here to access our elevator bay and head on up to the upstairs. And our elevator leads us to our upper floor, which is just big enough to create an office space. So we have a window on each side around the front and then around the side where our elevator entrance is. And the coolest thing about having this base structure for our city hall is that really you can turn it into whatever you'd like. You could make it a bunch of different shops inside. You could make it a bank, whatever you can think of really. And there's our city hall with interior set and our advertising pillar. And here's all 10 of our city life sets all together. Little monkey fans, do you remember? What color was the bow accessory on the back of our bride's dress? Thanks for watching. To join all the fun up in our tree top, please subscribe to Little Monkey Media's channel. Don't forget, if you like our video, please share it and click like. We go bananas for toys!